Hello everyone, this is Gurveen here and today as part of Mocky Learning, we will have a look at how we can load data using the CSV and JSON files with Mocky. So as we have seen in our earlier sessions that if we want to add any application specific data for our project, we can do so by defining the data records for the entities for which we want to add the data in our application. And if we also see the most common ways which we can use for defining data, it would be through the use of XML files, CSV, or the JSON files. And we, and we have seen that there are very good examples of defining data in the XML files in the Mocky project. But today in this session, we will specifically have a look at how we can use the CSV and JSON formats for defining and loading the data. So I will jump to the IDE. So, so for the reference, uh, we are using the example component, which is available in the Mocky GitHub repository. So first, if we talk about the component structure, we know that we should have a data folder inside our component, and all the data files should reside inside the data folder, which we will define for adding data. So uh, so we have a data folder, and if we see the demo data.json file, which is opened here, so uh, if we can talk about the JSON file, we know that it provides a good readable view. And also JSON is a format which is understood by many. So it can be a good way to add data in the JSON file for our component. Now, how we can add uh, data to this file is first we need to specify the data type. So the first uh, element should be the data type and we should mention the type of data. So here we can see we have the demo data. So we know that Mocky provides a standard set of uh, data types which we can add. Like we have seed data which the application requires in order to run and we would want this to be loaded beforehand to so that our uh, component will work properly. And also we have some seed initial data which might, uh, might be needed for the first time system setup. So as a first step, we should see that what is the type of data we are going to define and add to our application. So here we are taking the example of demo data, which might be helpful for our development and testing. So once we have this, now we need to add the uh, we need to uh, add the entity for which we will define the data. So as we can see, we have examples. Now just to uh, check the reference, if we go inside the entity folder, we have the example entities. And we see that we have an entity defined here with the name example. And we have a short alias as examples. So this short alias can be used as well as the example name. So I've also added one more data element. So using the entity name as example. So both the ways will work as expected in the similar way. And we can see that once we load the data. So next, we have to define the other fields for which we want to add the data. So also, uh, JSON can be helpful. Like we have the child uh, or related entities in our master entity. So if we go back to the XM, uh, XML, entity XML, we know that we have many relationships and one of it is a relationship to the example item. So in the same element, we can also mention the data which we want to add for the example item. And once we load this data, Mocky will take care of adding the records for our example entity as well as the records for the example item entity for as many data we have defined in this JSON array for the items. So this is how we can add our JSON data. Then uh, if we talk about CSV file, so we have an example here of example records.csv. And CSV file can be helpful if you have a large data set to be added. So we can do so uh, by using a CSV format. So with Mocky, it provides us two ways. So let us see one by one. So one is that we can uh, 
mention the entity entity name for which we want to add the data and then followed by the data type in the after uh, the comma delimiter so the first line should always be the entity name and the data type and then the second line we should add add the list of the field names for which we want to add the data and in the following lines we can specify the values for those fields which we have mentioned in the second line so this is a set format in which mocky expects the values and the fields and the entity name to be defined for loading the data now the second way by which we can use a csv file is we can also mention a service name in the first record in place of an entity name so if we go to the example service.csv file so we have here a create example service which is defined in the example services in the example component so if we want to use any of our uh, developed service or any out of the box service to create a particular set of data we can mention the service name in the first line again followed by the data type and then we should have the list of the field names for which we will be adding data and again in the following lines we should have the values for the fields now in this case we need to take care that we do provide the values for the field names which the service expects to create the data similarly we have one more example of the example item records so we have a separate csv file again mentioning the example item as the entity name demo data type and then the field names and the values which needs to be added now once we have our data records defined in the files now let us check how we can load the data so there are two ways so first is through the command line so if i go to the console so we have the load command and we can mention the type of data which we want to load so uh, if there are multiple data types which we want to load at once it just needs to be mentioned in the comma separated list in the load command now there are other uh, arguments and which are available for the data load command so if we go to the mocky documentation in the run and deploy section we have the load data arguments which we can use as per our need where we can mention the types which we want to load or the specific component name from which we want to load the data or the location of a specific file so these are few of the uh, these are the arguments which are available and we can use them so let us just go back and see if we want to load our demo data how it works so once we uh, press enter for the load command it will try to find the location or the files for where the data is defined and then it will load the corresponding records from the files so if we have a look here at the example component so we see that from the demo data.csv we have two records loaded then we also had a csv file where we had a service example service and create example uh, being used to create the data so we also have one record loaded from that so this we can see that we are able to load the data using the uh, load command now there is another way which we can use is through the mocky tools component which is part of the mocky framework so if we run the run mocky and we can have a look how we can load the data so once this is up so let us see if i log in with the test user so we have to go to the tools component then under entity tools we have data input so here we can see that we have 
some good options which we can use as per our convenience to load the data types. So the first is we can see that we can mention the data type, say if I want to load only demo data from a specific component, say we take the example of this, and then we can, um, we can select the option whether we want to import data, which will be create only, or it will be create or update the existing records. So if I've mentioned these two, the types and components, if I try to import data, so let us just confirm the pop-up. So we can see that now it has only taken the files from the example component for, uh, for loading the data of the demo data type. Similarly, we have option of the resource location where we can mention the resource, the file location, then we can add the XML text. Here we need to make sure that we add the data inside the entity facet XML tags. Then like we were talking about the JSON and CSV. So we have these separate options to add the JSON file. So let us just check if we are able to do so. So let me take one example. So if we check this, we just change the values. And if I say create only, so we can see that it has loaded one record from the JSON text body, which we just added. Similarly, we can add the data through the CSV text option, which we have. So if I take the CSV, which we can see here that we have the check data. So what check data will do is, so this is a good option if we want to test that the data which we're trying to load, if it already resides in a database. So like this, I've copied this from the example item records.csv. And if I try to check this data, we can see that it has said that no differences found in the check. Now let me just again change one of the values. Now if I do, so I've changed the example ID and I will again perform a check data. Now we can see that it is saying that the example item record is not found for that primary key. So this can also come in handy when we want to quickly have a check that if the data which we're trying to load is already there or not. And once we import the data, this will add the data for us into the database. So we can see that we have three records loaded from the CSV text box. So now we know that Mocky provides us with different ways by which we can define the data. Now we can always choose which type of file will best fit our use case. And as per that, we can go ahead and define the data for our application. So if there are any questions or concerns, uh, please feel free to post any comment. And we can also use the Mocky Stack Overflow or the Mocky mailing list for any discussion. Thank you.